And, 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 and my question is, is it very competitive process? I mean, like, for example, do you know how many people apply for this scholarship yeah. and how many they will accept? Uh, I mean, do you have this information? Yes, they did give me the information and it was actually mentioned on the acceptance, uh, uh, acceptance letter as well. Uh, about a thousand people applied from all across the Pakistan and out of those thousand people only 12 were selected. Wow. So, and it was wow. really very competitive and it was hard to get selected for this. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you should feel very proud that you uh, were I selected. Do. That's, I do. that's really good. That is really good. Uh, well, Muhammad, I would like to also ask you about your country, your native country, Pakistan. Uh, can you give us an idea about the country? I mean, uh, uh, for example, what do you do there? Uh, for example, can you describe what I will call a normal day for someone who lives in Pakistan? What do you do? from morning all the way till evening? Uh, like my typical day. Mm -hmm. So my typical day starts like at 6 a.m. in the morning. I wake up, uh, just have my breakfast, get prepared for my office, and at 8, 8.15 I have to be at my office. And I just like work till 5, 6 p.m., come back home, spend time with my family, we have dinner, sometimes we go for outing, like, or sometimes go to visit friends or relatives. Mm -hmm. And on weekends, we usually go to, like, relatives or to a park mm -hmm. and just spend some time there. And I like to watch movies with friends, hang out with friends. So. And, and if I may know, uh, if I uh, may remember that, I know that you have kids, yes, Mama, I, right? Yes, I do. Can you, can you tell us more about that? And do you miss them? I mean, I, I cannot uh. imagine myself being away, you know, for a year, for example, from my twin boys. I mean, it's uh, really hard. It's very difficult. So. Yeah, that was really hard. And uh, that was actually the most hard decision I have to make. Uh, I had a daughter when I was coming here and I just had my son a month ago. So my daughter is uh, almost two years and my son has just turned one month and three or four uh, days. And I miss them a lot. And that's, I think, the most hard part of this, like being on this scholarship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I also know like it's only for one year mm -hmm. and like I'm doing this for them, for their better future, so that I can get this education, and when I go back to my country, I'll be able to uh, like get a better opportunities. I'll be able to get like uh, think better. I have better skills, so that I think it's for them. So that's why I do miss them a lot, and it, it's really hard. Yeah, and that's very nice of you. I mean, it's 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 important to really think of the, the your kids' future and and do things like that for for their future. I, I really, you know, I think it's very hard. I yes. honestly, to be honest with you, I, I don't know if I can do that. Like be away yeah. from my my twin uh, boys uh, for a year. It's, it's sometimes it's difficult. I was, you know in Houston, Texas for four days and I really missed them a lot. I kept just calling and checking on them and you know, trying to hear their voice on the phone and so on. But anyway, well, can you tell us more about Pakistan? And for example, you know, the weather in Pakistan, uh, the food, uh, some cultural things, uh, things mm -hmm. that are different than, for example, what you see here in the United States. Uh, right, first of all, uh, Pakistan is a family culture like uh, we give a lot of importance to family ties relations and if i can see like people in us they do also have like but over is like a joint family culture we usually people uh, uh, back in pakistan they prefer to live in like united families like you can see people living generation to generation living in the same house together grandparents mm -hmm. parents and kids and their grandkids wow so I think that's that's the beauty of our culture. So it's very strong family very, ties. Very, very, yeah. very strong. Yeah. And uh, weather is uh, like we have all four seasons. We have spring, summer, winter, autumn. But our winter is not like here so in the Midwest. Get that cold, no, no, no. It's like it maximum. It's maximum. It will go like 32, 30 degrees, and that's only last for couple of weeks and after that it again start getting warmer again, yeah. and we don't have this much of snow especially in my town uh -huh. 
we don't need, uh, we never had snow. So, so snow is a new thing for you. Yeah. So how, how, what did you do when you, when, when you witnessed the first uh, snow oh, here? Oh, I, I just been. like took my camera, went out, start taking pictures, and I called my family on Skype and started showing them on the webcam. Like, see, it is, oh it is snowing. God. Yeah, <laughs> I was really excited. Yeah, that that is that is really neat. That is really yeah. nice. And, and food is like most of our food is spicy food. We like meat in our food, and all the food is more about spicy and taste. We go for the taste most of the times. We do like to eat outside in restaurants and hotels. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and you know, I, I remember, you know, I, I visited you guys a uh, couple times, you know, the international students here at MCC, and, and I remember you prepare like couple uh, dishes yeah. and, and and it was really spicy I, I, I love spicy food and and you know uh, my background and my heritage also our food is spicy but it's not hot spicy it's not as hot yeah. spicy as your food so is, is, is it normal like do you, do you for example have any meal that is not a hot spicy meal or yeah. every meal has to be like that mostly we prefer that every meal has to be spicy mm -hmm. and but you can like reduce the quantity of spices used in that the same meal and you can have it mild and not that hot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, I don't think of anything in in our culture that comes without spices. I cannot remember. <laughs> it, 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 it's hard not to. So it would be yeah. like what a pastry of sweets. Yeah, stuff. desserts you can say, but <laughs> yeah. not the other food. Yeah, I, yeah. I understand. I understand that. Well, yeah. that's that's good. Thanks for sharing all this information. <laughs> well, I want to switch the topics for a little bit and now talk about you know your experience here at MCC. So if you can describe your day here in Muscatine and at, at MCC. How would you describe your day? Yeah, first of all, I'm thankful to you for having me here and letting me share my experiences here. Uh, it's, it's a great experience. Uh, I mean, I, I was not uh, like expecting this to be like here in America so peaceful and so calm, especially here in Muscatine. People are very helpful, the community here is very friendly people and my typical day starts here with like 8 a.m. in the morning because I do have classes at 10 and till 2 and sometimes I have to, I do have classes in the evening 6 to 9 so I have to wake up at 8 get ready for college come to college attend my classes go back prepare lunch have food then start studying and in the evening if I don't have class hang out with friends we sometimes we go out to the mall and sometimes just stay at the at our apartments and just hang out have fun and cook more food huh? yeah yeah of course of course yeah. and on weekends we usually have something planned uh -huh. uh, my mentor family they do have things planned for me sometimes they come pick me up and we go visit around Muscatine you know some places mm -hmm. and have fun that's good. Uh, well, uh, my next question in regard to the first question, uh, what is your major? Uh, and uh, my next question beside the major is, uh, did you visit any cities outside, let's say, Muscatine or outside Iowa? Uh, first of all, my major is uh, business management and uh, especially my focus is on marketing. And the second question, uh, like regarding, I have traveled a lot. And it's, uh, it was like, uh, when I was coming here, I, I was planning to like, I have to see all the places that I all it, always like been thinking about. So whenever I, I get an opportunity to go outside Muscatine or Iowa, I never miss that. So uh, let's start. I've been to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, I've been to Las Vegas. Los Angeles, San Diego, and uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Uh -huh. So, and uh, in the spring break, uh, I'll be going to New York City. Wow. And that's going to be great. Wow. Yeah. You really travel a lot. Did, yeah. did you visit Chicago? Yep. Chicago also. was my first visit. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so that's, it's, it's a beautiful city. Of course it's a it is. Of city. course it yeah. is. I'm, g yeah. I'm glad to know that. You know, usually, you know, I always tell people, like, you know, when you come to visit United States or, for example, if you come to 
live here for a year or two because you are a student, you do more travels than the natives and, and the people who live in, really in the United States. And, and I think that's a normal human behavior because same thing if we, if, if we go somewhere else, we will do most probably more traveling yes. and sightseeing than the natives of that country. I mean, yeah. that's, that's really good. So you enjoyed all your, your yes, trips? Yes, I, like I enjoyed a lot. I enjoyed a lot. I'm really ex excited about that. And I feel really good that I was able to travel so much and have mm -hmm. so much fun. Yeah, and, and uh, you mentioned that you are majoring in business and in particular marketing. Yeah. So you are part of uh, Jim Elias program? Yes. Okay, yeah. can you give us some idea about the program, I mean, and what kind of information do you have available about that particular program? So that also our audience will learn more also, not just about, you know, the international students or, for example, or uh, your country, but also it's a part of it is also to learn about what we offer as an MCC or as part of the community here. So, so if you can give us a simple idea about the program. Yeah, I'm actually doing my AAS degree in business management and uh, Jim Elias, he's been very helpful and supportive in that regard. He's helping me a lot and choosing the right subjects for being on track of that degree. And I'm learning a lot, the subjects that he has been uh, helping me to pick up for studying, those are good, and the course material is very good. And especially the way of teaching here is very different from back in Pakistan, in, in terms of like the class atmosphere and the relationship between the teacher and the students. It's very, very different and it's a unique experience for me. And I think it's like, it makes you to learn more. It's more conducive to your learning. So it's, it's different in a good way, in a yeah. positive yes, way. Yes, yes. Like I'm the teacher is very frank yeah. and he will support you. He will give you advices on whatever you want to do. And it's mostly project based. You have to do a lot of research. You have mm -hmm. to do a lot of projects. Mm -hmm. And those are the things when you really start learning. I'm kind of a person that I, I, I like to study, but I want to learn like by experimenting. I don't want to be like all the time studying and reading books and books yes. and books. And yes. I don't think you will be able to learn like so much uh, by and, reading and, books. And I agree with you because, uh, you know, I traveled to 15 different countries and I always, you know, hear the same thing. When I go and teach at different, for example, colleges and or universities outside the United States, I hear the same thing. The way we teach here is totally different than the way they teach somewhere else because we concentrate more on uh, mainly what I would call the practical aspects yes. of whatever we are teaching or whatever we are talking about. And, and I think, you know, by, by doing something like that, usually people and students will remember that for a long period of time rather than just, you know, okay, well, here is the book, read it, memorize it, and I'm going to test yes. you on what's in it. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And, and you know, we are, we are very proud to know that that's yeah. how we do it here at MCC. I mean, that's really a good, good thing to share. 